Uh, Hunter says, sounds like a great idea. If we go to the uh, post page section. Uh, Patrick says, if Zach pays for my sitter from Friday to Saturday, I'd definitely buy four tickets and take my only two friends. Christopher says, I'd go. Sounds like a great idea. People still writing in about the stabbing. All right, well, we'll think about it. I mean, the the the, the feedback so far hasn't been crazy. Uh, I bet you could get more than 50. I know, but 50 was kind of the number we threw out there. Uh, Joe says, I'd go. So, like, I don't know, eight or ten people so far have written in saying, oh, I'd definitely do it. That's enough to keep the conversation going. I'll say that. Okay, let's get to our first topic that's up on the Steel Toe Morning Show Facebook page. These people are my absolute favorite. We fight with them on the uh, video feed sometimes. Uh, They like to tune in from wherever the hell flat earthers come from. And they like to badger me and say you should talk about flat earth. And I have to say... I could give a flying rat's wrinkled ass about flat earth theory. The only thing I like about flat earth theory is that the people who believe in it are some of the most entertaining people in the world because this world you have to live in to believe in the flat earth is really remarkable. Like You have to close yourself off to any kind of scientific knowledge whatsoever. I always, uh, when, when flat earthers say, well, you, you have to pl- prove that the earth is round. I'm like, no, I don't. I don't have to prove the earth is round. We've already done that. That is the accepted science, that the earth is round. You can't just make a crazy claim. This is not how claims work. You don't get to make a crazy claim, offer zero proof, and then tell other people to prove that it isn't true. That's like me saying, uh, you know, uh, dog saliva. Now, this doesn't even work because that's easily, you just, well, I guess so is round earth is easy to prove. But uh, all dog saliva has AIDS in it. Prove it doesn't. Now, obviously, we could take a swab of dog saliva and prove it doesn't have AIDS in it. But to make a crazy claim and then tell the other person, prove this crazy claim I made wrong. You know, if you eat black licorice, you'll get bone marrow cancer. Prove that you don't. And it's like, well, no, it's not my job to prove this. You said a crazy bananas thing and then are asking me to prove that it's not true. I already know that isn't true. You have to prove it is. That's not how it's science. I love how the, the flat earth people like to go, but scientifically, blah, blah. you don't get to say scientifically. You just said a very unscientific thing and then went against the scientific method in saying, I believe this crazy thing. Prove it doesn't. Prove that's not the case. That's not how science works. You develop a hypothesis, then you gather information and you change the hypothesis as new information comes in. You don't go... I think if you bounce on a pogo stick enough, you'll fly to the moon. Prove that you won't. It's not how science goes. You develop the hypothesis that based on the information I have, if you keep bouncing on a pogo stick, you'll go to the moon. Okay, then you start bouncing on a pogo stick. And as you don't get any closer to the moon, you go, oh, okay, well, so far our our experiments are showing that you get no closer to the moon as you jump on a pogo stick. That's not how flat earth works. Flat Earth works, you have to prove that if you jump on a pogo stick forever, you'll never go to the moon. Tr- prove that. No. That was never a thing. It's only a thing because you said something crazy. So on the Steel Toe Morning Show Facebook page, we have the story of, and I swear to God this is a thing, put it up on the video, there you go, the Flat Earth Convention. They now, not only do these people exist, and this is the wonderful thing about the Internet, you can start any community you want. And you'll find friends. And I think that's a good thing. Because I don't think flat earthers should be alone by themselves for too long. The machinations that they can come up with in those busy little brains of theirs, uh, the potential there is frightening. So if these people don't get friends in a community and go out and get some vitamin D out in the sunlight or anything, who knows what kind of crazy stuff they'll come up with. So the flat earthers now have a... A convention that they have every year, and it's held in Cary, North Carolina. Um, Now, I think it's funny that a bunch of people who don't believe the Earth is round are using technology to get to this convention that those technologies working depend on the hypothesis that the Earth is round. If the Earth was flat, a lot of the stuff they're using to get there, like uh, 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 cartography, uh, you know, uh, you know, traveling, directions, GPS, all these different things, the, the very mechanics of an airplane, that all of these things depend on the hypothesis that the Earth is a sphere 
and not a flat disk. So they, they benefit from the technology of the Earth obviously being round, but then they deny it's round. It, it's like sitting there eating licorice. I'm using licorice for a lot of my examples today. It's like sitting there and munching down on licorice and then saying Twizzlers doesn't exist. It's a very odd hypothesis to go through. But you know what? I, I think a lot of this is people wanting to have control over their lives. It's the same thing as conspiracy theorists with 9-11 and everything else. Sometimes crazy things happen and we can't explain them. But if we can put an order behind them, even if that order is terrifying and awful, we'll do it so we can feel like there's some semblance of control and meaning behind it. Like 9-11. A lot of people feel 9-11 was an inside job because it's so terrifying to think that there are these 19 crazy religious zealots with box cutters that can take a plane and crash it into a building. That's a terrifying thought. That's in, it's changed the way we travel for the last 16 years. So it's a lot easier for them to go, oh, the government knew about it, they planned the whole thing, they carried it out, and they did it so they could go to these wars. That sounds organized. That sounds reasoned. That sounds like, you know, we know that people can manipulate things to get their own way. They'd rather the world be that way than be the scary reality that it is. So let's, uh, let's play some audio here on the Flat Earth Convention. Then we'll get to more listener feedback. Let's fire this up. The uh, story is being played on the video feed as well, so you can watch these fine folks. Let's do uh, Flat Earth Convention video. Oh, no. Did, it, did the video story go away? The Flat Earthers sued. It's a conspiracy. Uh, this is CBS WNCN in North Carolina where they... Flat, the title of the article, Flat Earthers from Around the World Descend Donald Upon North things Carolina. Wrong, but stating that the world is round was not one of them. But despite overwhelming evidence, some refuse to believe the Earth isn't flat. Tonight, those people are in carry for a sold-out conference. CBS North Carolina. It's Car sold out. That's the other thing. So what I'm saying about the Internet. You can just create your own little community. You have a Flat Earth convention. And it should just be five balding 57-year-old men and, like, one 20-year-old hipster who just wants to say F what everyone else says. And they should be, like, drinking terrible decaf coffee in an awful Ramada conference room somewhere while they just sit there and talk about how the rest of the world just doesn't have it right. But instead, it's just a sold-out event. Hundreds of people going to rock out on the flat disc. Carolina's David Hurst spent the day getting to know them. Oh, For fun. those who call themselves Flat Earthers, the Flat Earth International Conference is the ultimate meetup. As soon, as soon as it got announced, I basically booked the hotel and I booked the ticket straight away. For yes, I booked the hotel and I booked the ticket, and I know that the airplane ticket is based on uh, time zones, which is all depending on the rotation of the round Earth and how it affects its relationship with the sun, but I've decided that I live on a flat disk even though the time on my ticket is different or like I'm going back in time because I'm actually traveling against the rotation of the earth. <laughs> you see, the sun will rise in the east, right? But the sun doesn't move, so the earth has to rotate towards the west, so the west will get more sunlight as the day goes on. Even though that is how my travel and time management is managed, I still don't believe it exists. I flew on a plane whose technology and gadgets and all this and their navigation systems is based on the Earth being wound and the satellites being in the sky, but I'm here for the Flat Earth Convention. These are people who have eaten copious amounts of paint chips dipped in radioactive waste. These are fun, but they're, I don't want to make fun of them too much because they're adorable. Listen to him. I got the plane ticket with the different time zones based on the round earth, but it's all nonsense. Those attending, getting together with those who share their beliefs is a nice change of pace to the ridicule they normally face. It's not a way to make friends and, and, and you know, impress your family. Because no, of course it's not. But don't act like it should be. You believe in something insanely dumb that you're not going to make friends when you do that. Like if you walk around and you go, uh, hey, uh, by the way, I've, uh, I've cured the common cold by just, uh, you know, I, what I do is I just shove my nose up a dog's ass whenever it gets stuffy. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go. I, that sounds insane. Like, well, I guess my, my idea doesn't make me any friends. Well, no, because it's a crazy antisocial idea that's going to cost you relationships. Same thing with, hey, um, 
yeah, I want to talk to you. Did you want to go to the game on uh, on Thursday? Yeah, I'd love to, man. That sounds like a great time. All right, good, because while we're there, I want to talk to you about how I think the Earth is a flat disk and it's held up by elephants, and this whole round thing is a conspiracy to get us all to give our money to the Arbor Day Foundation. And, all right, dude, I, I forgot that I'm uh, I'm getting a haircut on Thursday, and it's a long one, and I think I might get a color and uh, maybe go car shopping. I don't think. I, I also have to get my uh, anus bleached, so I'm not going to be able to talk to you about flat Earth at the game. I'm, I apologize. If they're not willing to look, they're going to think you're crazy. And many attendees. Wait, 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 I hate that too. I hate when the flat Earth people do that. If they're not willing to look at the information, they're going to think you're crazy. No, 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 no. You don't get to turn this around on me. You're you're nuts. I don't think you're crazy. I know you're crazy. I've looked at the evidence. You're a nut bar. You don't get to go. Oh, it's. Be I hate when cons conspiracy people act like you haven't looked it up. It is the most annoying, obnoxious, babyish thing they do. Oh, well, if they haven't looked up the information, then no, you're crazy. I'm sorry. There are certain things that are debatable. And yes, sometimes people don't look up the information. Like I look at this tax bill and people saying, I'm a college student, it's going to cost me thousands. No, it isn't. Yes, you won't be able to write off $2,500 in college loan interest, but you're getting an extra $6,000 minimum deduction. Do the math, stupid. 6000 is bigger than 2500 It's not going to cost you thousands. You're an idiot. You're also going to get a cut uh, in your rate overall, but never mind. Back to flat earthers and anti-tax cut people, to me, are the same people. Here say the theory has really gained popularity over the past few years, enough popularity where they can hold conferences like this. For the last two to three years, it's really taken off. I don't really know what the... What the reason is for that? Maybe it's just time. One fact. No, it's not time. You nut bars have found a Reddit, a subreddit site, and you've all gathered on there. Because if you can insulate, if you can create these little communities and then insulate yourself from criticism, you can grow. But if you listen to the criticism and you go, oh, maybe I should change to welcome the world more. Why do you think Islamic extremists become more popular, not less popular, as time goes on? Because they can insulate them themselves. They can blame other, kind of like the Nazis did, these uh, radical Muslims blame other people for the problems they've created, and then more people go, oh, well, I'm living in squalor and crap, and even though it could be my culture's fault and the fact that I won't let go of this archaic ancient religion and adopt the secular values that allowed the West to grow as fast as it did, uh, maybe that could be the solution. Oh, no, it's the infidels and the Christians and the Jews and the atheists and the gays. That's what it is. Let's kill them all. So if you just insulate yourself and make it other people's fault rather than your own and you never have to hear criticism, then your movement's going to grow. Flat earthers and radical Muslims, they, they grew the same way. Insulate and blame. Except at least the flat earthers get to show their boobies, which I think is very important. Of the growing popularity may be the coverage in the media. It became a hot topic recently when Duke's very own Kyrie Irving came out and claimed he believes the earth is flat. Yeah, there you go. How about a guy who didn't finish college? Listen to him on what the earth is shaped like. Come on, Aaron. He makes tens of millions of dollars a year th uh, playing basketball. Yeah. A guy who literally dribbles a globe for a living doesn't believe in globes. There's a smart guy. Hey, you know that uh, guy who throws that orange sphere into a, a, a circle? Yeah, the earth is shaped like the ball, not the rim, stupid. She's looking at the wrong thing. And I spent about two weeks really digging in. Uh, trying to debunk it, and um, that's how you become a flat earther. No, it, yes, you're right. That's how you become a flat earther. You spend two weeks on something and then go, I give up. Two weeks. Dude, I could do it in five. I could do it in three seconds. Ready, start counting. Go. Here, cell phone, round earth, done. Okay, there we go. All of this technology that's on this phone doesn't work if the earth is flat. The fact that your cellular phone works. Here, hold on. Let me uh, Let me bring up something. Um, let me bring up YouTube. Oh, look, my YouTube app loaded. Oh, eh, guess what? The Earth is round. It can't communicate with the satellites and everything else if the satellites are underneath the disk. See, when we try to explain it to them, we sound like the crazy people. That's where the flat Earth people win, when you engage. Because you're sitting there going, no, because if things are under the disk, then the thing can't work with the technology and the disk is. I'm acknowledging that there might be a disk. That's crazy talk. Oh, my goodness. Anyway, the Flat Earth story, the Flat Earth convention is up on the Steel Toe Morning Show Facebook page. You know what's going to be really fun? Is if I go to the video feed right now and the Flat Earthers are there. If the Flat Earthers 
are on the video feed, then this is going to be a very lively debate. If they're not there, we're home free and we can move on. Uh, let's go to Michelle. She writes, LOL, are they flying to this event? I mean, it won't freak them out that it's not a straight flight? If they don't think about these things. Uh, Joe says they got to go to the convention next year. If listeners would go to the Flat Earth Convention, we would send them recording equipment so they could send us segments. Uh, Nels writes, I believe toddlers are just little snacks for pit bulls. Prove that they aren't. Yeah, see, the whole deal. Uh, Mary says, even the Amish know that the Earth isn't flat. All right, well, I don't know why we need to besmirch the Amish in order to make our point, but you know what? Point taken. Fair enough. Uh, more people writing in on the flat Earth concept. Uh, <laughs> Nick writes, nuke it from orbit. <laughs> nuke, you mean the whole convention? Just, yeah. You know, well, they're allowed to be wrong, aren't they? Uh, I've seen this meme before, too. Matt posted, he said, if the Earth was flat, cats would have pushed everything off of it by now. Yes, and babies would have grabbed it. They love to do that. They love to grab everything on a flat surface. Uh, Nate writes, do it at Mandalay Bay. Uh, Ethan writes, I'm not bragging, but uh, the moon landing was filmed at Area 51. Yeah, that's the other thing. Yeah, the moon landing never happened. I get it. Uh, Joe writes, so are you are serious about the flat earthers? Wow, I thought you were joking the other day. No, they're around. They exist. These people, they, they filled out, they sold out a conference room in Cary, North Carolina. That's kind of impressive. Uh, let's go to Hunter. He says they wouldn't be from around the world. They would be from a flat the world, right? Yeah, I'm sorry. I apologize. I said that all these people are coming from around the world, but that doesn't make any sense because the earth is flat. Wouldn't that be funny if they used that term? Like, if the, the Flat Earth Convention could discredit itself immediately if, uh, if, they, if the person got up there to speak and they went, um, ex Welcome, everyone, to the Flat Earth Convention. We're so happy that you came here from around the world to be with us. Say, oh, damn it, what did I do? Oh, no. I just said around, didn't I? Oh, it's the fascists. Uh, Brad says, air show at Hinkley would not be too bad. Expensive, but with Zach there, there's no way in hell you could pay me to go. Air show? Why would I do an air show at Hinkley? That sounds stupid. Uh, Nick writes, did you just do a combination impression of Cockney and your daughter Charlotte? Did I? Is that what my British accent was? <laughs> was it a three-year-old American toddler and a British guy? No, because the Cockney accent, you can't do ours, right? What? You, oh, like, if I read this uh, free speech red ale poster in Cockney, you wouldn't pronounce the R's, right? Free sp no, free speech. No, it would be free speech, wouldn't it? Free speech red ale. Order free speech on tap here and raise your glass to your individual liberty. Now, I don't know. That's like, uh, that's Barbara Walters plus Cockney. I don't know. Uh, Ryan says if the Flat Earth movement gained enough traction, anyone who believed the Earth was round would be labeled racist. Ah, yes. You could try the childish socialist argument. Uh, Nels writes, they do realize we have human beings living in space and circling around the Earth as we speak, right? Dude, I'm not kidding. I've had this discussion with Flat Earthers before. Go ahead and tell them that. And they think they debunk that by saying, eh, no, that doesn't exist. That's all they say. I say, you know, there's guys living on the space station right now, and all of that is dependent on the Earth being round. No, no, it isn't. Wait, what? No, you don't just get to take a fact and say no and then move on. That's not how arguing works. you got to look into that a little bit, buddy. That might solve this whole flat earth thing for you. Oh, boy. Uh, TJ writes, tell them all to start walking, and if they fall off the earth, we will believe them. Yeah, sacrifice for your cause, bitches. Cody writes, do us a favor and step off the edge of your flat earth. Oh, but, dude, that won't work because they'll just keep walking. I'm sorry. I apologize to any of you who got excited. See, they make you so crazy that you just start adopting their idea that the earth is flat. See what they've done to you? You'll be in, I bet you some of you are going to be in Cary, North Carolina next year. This is the start of your journey. Congratulations. All right, before we go any further, that story's up on the Steel Toe page. We've also got the video feed up brought to you by Tactical Advantage. Uh, Waldo's Pizza. Got a mailer yesterday. You know, I always uh, talk to you about how great the, the unlimited pasta bar is. On Sunday nights, but they got so much other stuff, man. Sure, they've got great uh, pizza pasta. They've got uh, a wonderful cheese ra ravioli. Their spaghetti and meatballs is great. But they've also got chicken sandwiches. They've got shrimp baskets. They've got gr amazing specialty pizzas. I mean, if you go check them out, 
It's unbelievable the amount of, uh, I mean, you're talking about the Aviator, the Afterburner, the B-52 Bomber, the bar- Barnstormer, and many other different specialty pizzas at Waldo's. And you can order all of this, and it can be delivered for free. Go to waldospizza.com. That's waldospizza.com. Or put the number in your phone, 320-253-7170. That's 320-253-7170. For Waldo's Pizza, they'll deliver it to your door for free. That's Waldo's Pizza of St. Cloud, downtown St. Cloud, Kitty Corner from Taco John's on St. Germain, online at waldospizza.com. More people want in on the uh, flat earth. Tony writes, tell them to go to an ocean and ask why they can't see forever. Yeah, you'd think there would be no horizon. If the uh, ocean was was flat, you would just be able to keep looking. I don't know. Uh, Joseph writes, let's ask them to point at the edge. Show us a picture of the edge. Something. Give us proof, you flat-headed bastards. (laughs) Yeah. Wouldn't you think the flat earth thing would be easy? Like, I understand the round earth takes science, and you got to show them pictures from space, and they go, oh, those are just fraudulent pictures. But their thing should be able to... Like, be easy to prove. Like, just take me to the edge of the earth. There we go. Nope. Uh, Nick writes, maybe when liberal California falls off the U.S., it will float off the edge. <laughs> See, now you, now you guys are just adopting flat earth for your own political purposes. That's That seems a little unfair. Uh, Roger writes, you sounded like Kripke from Big Bang Theory with your British accent. Roger, Big Bang Theory is one of the most awful shows ever created in television, and if I sounded anything like anything from that god-awful, hacky, garbage show, then I'm never going to do that voice again. That show is so effing bad, I can't believe there's people who like it. If you Do me a favor. If you like Big Bang Theory, watch it without a laugh track sometimes. Because that's what they do. They put that laugh. 